Hey you, get off the freaking sofa, get out of your bed, cause I'm coming at you with the top 7 easiest trampoline twists you can learn right now. Walk out of your house, go into your backyard, step on the trampoline and you're gonna do it with me alright. We've got a special guest once again. He's not so special guest anymore. He's not a special guest actually, he is, he is a part of my whole YouTube channel. He doesn't want to look into the camera because he's freaking distracted by some birds. Look at him. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. All right, I hope you're doing great today. And uh, if not, I hope I can make your day a little bit better with these seven tricks. Don't be a lazy pig. And let's freaking go, starting with number one. The one and only front flip with the half twist. There are three main ways you can learn this trick. Well, actually you can do this trick. Number one is the layout. I think this is more the gymnastic way to do this trick. Uh, then you have like the A twist. The A twist is more like the free running parkour style. But there's one more way to do a front flip with a half twist. So the third way to achieve this trick is to take your front flip and twist out. Very simple, just before you're done with your front flip, release your tuck and just twist with your hips. It's really easy. There are already actually three different tricks, but I'm gonna count them as one trick, front flip with the half twist. Let's move on. second twist I got for you is the one and only Arabian. I talk about this trick a lot on my channel because it's a very important trick. What a Arabian is, it's just a half turn to a front flip. A lot of people think this is a back flip with a half twist, but if you look closely, it's first a half twist then a front flip. That makes it a lot less scary. One of the easiest ways to learn this trick is to do a half twist and land onto your back. Just throw your arms up over your head and land onto your back. That's how you start with this trick, all right? If you want an in-depth tutorial about the Arabian, I made a top 10 easiest trampoline tricks video. I'll leave it in the description. One of my favorite things to do with a Arabian is a Arabian twist out. First a Arabian, which is a half twist, and then an extra half twist that basically makes it a full twist, but without a backflip. Big brain. I'm getting quite confident with this trick and I'm starting to twist out actually a little bit too soon. So it's almost a full twist in instead of first an Arabian and then an extra half twist, but you get it. Learn the Arabian. The third trick, of course, we have got our one and only side flip. Let's add a twist to that. It's very simple. With this trick, you can uh, eventually achieve side fools and you will get better in Rudy's, which is a front flip with one and a half twist. We're not gonna cover that one in this video because it's not one of the easiest tricks. There are a lot more easier tricks than one and a half twist, of course. So yeah, Leo. So the trick is a side flip, like a half twist. Just do a side flip and try to twist it out as much as you can. Leo, he's eating plants. What the hell are you doing? Okay, it's gonna look something like this. You kinda gotta get used to it, cause it's a, bit, a little bit weird. But yeah, eventually you will get a lot better at twisting and it's not scary at all. You kinda wanna twist out of your hips, okay? Big tip right there. Let's move on. Whoop. All right, the fourth trick is the one and only full twist. It's one of my favorite tricks. Okay, from the easiest tricks, it's one of the hardest tricks, but it's still, if you include all twists that exist, this is still one of the easiest twists there is. I made a full in-depth full twist tutorial. I'll leave that one also in the description. Uh, yeah, real quick, one of the easiest ways to learn a full twist is to take a full, like a cheated full twist 
turn that into a real fool twist. And you may be thinking, what is a cheated fool twist? Just throw it around your shoulder, just like this. That looked absolutely pathetic, but you get it, like this. Oh, I kicked myself. Kind of like the Arabian, half twist onto your back. Do the same thing, but then just twist further and further and further, till you have that full twist. Check it, link is in the description. Description, this description. Stuck the landing, that's very rare. I barely ever stick the landing on a trampoline. Full twist. Time for the fifth trick. All right, all okay. right. The previous trick was a backflip with a full twist. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but then with a front flip. So what do you get? You get a front flip with a half twist. What am I saying? Front flip with a full twist. Front, full. Is how you call it back full front full side full a full twist just call it a full yeah so how do you do a front flip with a full twist it's very simple take your front flip with the half twist and try to twist it out yeah you'll get used to it if you just train it step by step let me do it again real quick yeah stuck it after your half twist push your hips a little bit forward stretch your legs out a little bit and you've got your full twist. Don't stretch out like an idiot completely because you'll rotate further, almost to a one and a half twist. That's called a Rudy. And you'll lose air awareness, you, you will fall, and you will be scared of that trick. So the sixth trick, all right? It's a fun trick, it's also a really easy trick. It's a backflip with not a full twist, not a half twist, but a quarter of a twist, aka the backflip 90. It's a 90 degree twist, all right? Let me show you. Backflip 90, incoming. I'll start here and I'll end here. You can also do this trick from one foot, okay? Uh, yeah, you can turn the backflip, the backflip 90 into a full twist. Let's go. Let's move on. Okay, as you can see right there. Leave a like for Leo and you know. Boom. And let's move on to the seventh trick. It's my favorite trick. The cork, aka the cork screw. Let's call it a cork. So you may be thinking this, but this is the. You may be thinking, but it's a difficult trick. Yes, it's a bit difficult, but still, if you include all the tricks that you can physically achieve, this is one of the easiest twists there is. So, because it's a single twist, I'm not gonna include double corks or something, you know. So, how do you start learning the cork? Um, I suggest the ideal way to start learning this trick is if you can already do a full twist and some kind of a gainer. A backflip where you kick one foot up. If you have those tricks that are called uh, prerequisites, flips and tricks you need to unlock before you move on to the next trick. So of course you're not going to learn how to back full while you can't even do a backflip yet. So I do suggest Get your full twist down, it's not that difficult. Get a gainer down. If you're still thinking, fuck the full twist, I wanna get straight into my corkscrew, um, I can give you some tips, of course. If you fall on your neck, it's not my problem. I warned you, learn your full twist, then the cork. But anyways, how do you start learning the corkscrew if you don't have a full yet? Uh, I think you should do the same thing as with a full twist. Kick one foot up, throw both your arms up in between your shoulder and your chin. Right there, not to the side, not up, in between that, right? Remember that, key. Pro tip right there, yeah. Tuck your knees in a little bit and try to twist as much as you can. Again, 
you don't know how to twist if you can't do a full twist yet so you can't do a corkscrew yet about two and a half years ago when i started learning full twists and corks i had a dilemma i was thinking should i learn a full twist first or a corkscrew that's really what I thought I was looking for new tricks to learn but I thought okay I want to learn one trick at a time that was my tactic back then it worked really well for me just spam it till you have it no other tricks or just basics so I choose the full twist I'm glad I did because without the full twist you almost can't learn a normal cork so yeah okay so that were the seven tricks but don't click away yet I got one more trick but of course so the easiest twist to learn is of course the one and only 360 itself well actually the easiest out of all of them is the 90 degree twist it's literally this but uh yeah that's boring as hell i assume you can already do like a 360 maybe even a 720 <laughs> There you go, 720. Um, but yeah, I've got another, I've got one bonus trick for you. Okay, the eighth trick, okay. More value, more content, more knowledge, subscribe. Okay, <laughs> by the way, I've got another twist for you, but it's not a flip, it's a cat twist. You land on your back, you kick one foot, you kick your heel of one leg into the trampoline and you do a 360. Yeah. I suck at it. Whoa! Did you see that? It was a 720. There was a double cat twist, alright? But yeah, there you go, another trick. Uh, that was not the trick uh, what I was talking about. The easiest twist that involves a flip, because flips are cool. Everyone wants to learn flips. The easiest flip that involves a twist, or the easiest twist that involves a flip. However, is the cheat gainer. There's a little bit of a twist in it. So that's actually the beginning of your whole twisting journey. You can do it layout. You can tuck your knees in a little bit. Whatever you feel most comfortable doing. That's a very dope trick. Especially if you can do it clean on the ground. Insert clip. One of my favorite tricks ever. Leo, what is he doing? Anyways, this one is the easiest flip you can learn. That involves some what of a twist. Right, let me do it again from a different angle. So there are seven easy twist flips you can learn. Everyone can learn and you can do it right now. Comment down below if you did it with me, all right? I'm curious to see. I hope I motivate or inspired you to try new tricks and stuff. Push your limits as always. Live your life upside down, as I always say. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget it if you want to learn more stuff, because I upload three times a week. Have a great day, and I'm gonna catch you on the freaking flip side. Peace. Let's go. Yeah, double fool in the making. Stay tuned for double fools. It's gonna be sick.